Let us pray, angelos. Please stand. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our heart, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may be his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be for and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Prayer before Mass. Please kneel. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacraments of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, and reach my poverty and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of life, angels, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical glory and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament, May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please, sister. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear friends, we celebrate the memorial of St. Anthony de Padua, one of the most beloved and revered saint in the Catholic Church. St. Anthony was a Franciscan friar 
known for his exemptional preaching, his compassion for the poor, and his miraculous works, earning him the title Hammer of Heretics and Doctor of the Church. He is invoked for the Lost Articles, patron saint of Harvest, the Poor, and Portugal. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God to comfort all who mourn, to place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes, to give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever I will confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant with my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the rock, my Savior, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please all stand. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill. And whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to Sanhedrin. And whoever says, You fool, will be liable to Fairy Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you. Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to the court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The story is told about a young man, my dear friends, who was working as a houseboy. Now, he was being insulted by his family and name all the insulting words around him and chances that could have been already hurt against him. Dahil siya isang houseboy lang, no? dinuduro-duro siya, minumura-mura siya at uh, lahat ay tinis niya. Eventually, the young man reached the limit of his patience so instead of doing something criminal to the family, Pumutok na ang kanyang pasensya. And he just walked away from them emotionally and hurting and wounded. In the gospel, my dear friends, Jesus reminds us to be careful with the words that we say. For it can create a permanent wound in emotions of our fellow men. Ang dami-dami natin sinasabi sa ating kapwa. Sometimes we backstab them. Maganda tayo sa harap nila, pero pagkalikod nila, maraming na tayong sinasabi sa kanila. And sometimes those words that we say jokingly, yung mga sinasabi natin, insulting them, giving them name, could hurt them emotionally. Hindi man nila sinasabi sa harap natin. And if the words that we will say are insulting, it's better not to say it. It's better to control our emotions, to shut our mouth. And it's better to simply be quiet and let the anger be cured by time. Insulting words, my dear friends, deeply hurts the receiver. And it could create a permanent emotion. And that is a wound in their being. Hindi man natin nahalata, hindi man natin ito nar nararamdaman, pero mas malaki ang sakit doon sa taong pinagsasabihan natin. But why do we say words that are not fitted to be said? Why are we very quick to insult and belittle? Maraming ganitong tao, lalong-lalo na yung mga mata pobre, lalong-lalo na yung mga arogante. Mayaman sila, may dating sila sa kanilang buhay, but sometimes they belittle those people. Nagsisimba din sila, they give much to the church, but after that, when there, when there are people that are low, low, lowest than them, they said, anong pakialam ko sa'yo? What is now the fruit of the mass for us? Ano na ang magiging resulta ng ating debosyon, ang ating pagdarasal, kung ganyan naman ang ating mga ugali? We are sometimes arrogant. 
we are sometimes ignorant to them. We are sometimes mata pobre to them. Bato-bato sa langit, matamaan, may bukol. This is primarily brought about the arrogance, my dear friends. Ang ating pag-uugali, our bloated egos, and the feeling of superiority. Dahil ikaw ay makapangyarihan, dahil ikaw ay may posisyon sa simbahan, dahil ikaw ay mayaman, and you are entitled of everything, shame on you, my dear friends. What is the cure of this unhealthy behavior? The cure is Jesus. If we would follow Jesus, and if we could allow Him to change us, my dear friends, through humility, we will cleanse us from our arrogance, from our ecotism, and feeling of superiority. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. In every petition we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may truly become a sacrament for the world. Through the mystery of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are rightly committed to causes of justice and human liberation may not only accuse and protect, but recognize and approve sin in their own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples who are estranged from one another may come to forgive, understand, and appreciate one another once again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be healed of our pride and be humbled enough to accept our faults and failures so that we may live peacefully with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may live in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our own intentions. We pray for the urgent concerns and needs of our community, and we pray for those people whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, deliver us from the hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to seek reconciliation and heal any form of division. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name 
our good and the good of all this holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Anthony of Padua be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we to give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of Saint Anthony, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as we doubt and we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Anthony of Padua, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God. Behold him, it takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our Lord Jesus Christ, keep us safe, for that we can. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Antony they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with your bearing soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity, your five most generous, precious ones, pondering over, the, over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of me, F you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer, be, prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for a past benefits and it the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I deep 
I need in life. Deign, O dearest mother, to shower upon all, upon us all blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.